This video is sponsored by The Indian Photography. It's Monday, 1st October and this is Top Stories by Roaster News. Workers at the Royal Enfield plant reported to work on Sunday after ending their strike. However, the management asked them to leave their mobile phones with security personnel before entering the workplace, which became a new friction point. A section of workers was on strike since September 24th and called it off at the behest of the Joint Labour Commissioner in Chennai. The management had told the workers to report to duty from Sunday. He said workers were reluctant to hand over their mobile phones since personal data was involved. Earlier, the company had issued a notice to employees that would be allowed to resume work based on commitment to consistently support plant operations without creating any disruption in the future. Meanwhile, PMK founder Ramathos urged the state government to intervene in the ongoing labor issues in Royal Enfield, Yamaha and other units. The government is offering incentives to these firms from taxpayer money and they're acting against the interests of the workers. The government should call the management and workers for talks immediately and resolve the issue by fulfilling the demands of the workers, he said in a statement. Like in Chennai Airport, Metro Rail stations now face the problem of falling tiles and breaking glass panels. On Saturday, around 7.15 am, 28-year-old Vijaya, a resident of Bharti Nagar, was on her way to take the train from Shinoi Nagar station. As she entered the concourse level, a tile from the roof came crashing down and she suffered injuries to her head. Staff at the station rushed her to the hospital where she was given treatment and discharged. Officials of the Chennai Metro Rail Limited said the construction was carried out under supervision. It is unfortunate that tiles are falling, but we are making sure that this doesn't happen again, an official said. Aside from tiles, glass panels are breaking at the Nehru Park and Pachayapas College stations. An expert at IIT Madras said the fact that such issues were cropping up in a relatively new structure showed that the construction was shoddy. Poshan Abhiyan, a scheme aimed at addressing the problem of malnutrition among children, adolescents and women, currently being implemented in 11 districts of Tamil Nadu will soon be rolled out in the remaining 21 districts of the state. At present, the program, formerly known as the National Nutrition Mission or NNM, is being implemented in Ariyalur, Nilgiris, Villapuram, Dindigal, Chennai and Tirnalvele among other districts. These districts were chosen on the basis of findings of the National Family Health Survey four carried out in 2015 to 16. The program has fixed goals to reduce low birth weight, stunting and undernutrition in children up to the age of six years by 6% in the next three years, at the rate of 2% per year, and anemia among children, adolescent girls and women by 9% at the rate of 3% per year. In a significant judgment, the Madras High Court has found a 72-year-old retired school teacher, a serving school teacher and an executive guilty of having abused a person belonging to the scheduled caste by using the name of his caste in a derogatory manner. It sentenced them to one year of rigorous imprisonment under the Scheduled Caste and Scheduled Tribes Prevention of Atrocities Act of 1989. In India, the caste system prevails even now, especially in villages, the judge said, and added that in some villages, non-SCST community Hindus would not allow SCST community people into their streets. Further, they are not treating the SCST community Hindu people with dignity. In some of the villages, SCST community people are living in fear, the judge said. The validatory function of the year-long celebrations organized by the state government to mark the birth centenary of AIADMK founder and former Chief Minister M.G. Ramachandran in Chennai on Sunday ended up looking more like a party affair with leaders hitting out at their arch-rival DMK and other opponents. Chief Minister and AIADMK coordinator Edapadi K. Palnisamy 
took on DMK president and leader of opposition MK Stalin over his criticism of the state government. Referring to Mr. Stalin's often made comment that it was an inactive government, Mr. Palnisamy asked how his government could have won several awards if the claim were true. The chief minister went on to claim that the DMK did not do much for the welfare of the people when it was in power and hence Mr. Stalin had no option but to criticize the AIA DMK government. He further claimed that Mr. Stalin did not possess the necessary qualities to be the leader of the opposition. We round up this news cars with fuel prices from Key Metros. In Chennai, petrol is sold for 87.05 rupees per litre and diesel for 79.40 rupees per litre. In Mumbai, petrol is sold for 91.08 rupees per litre and diesel for 79.72 rupees per litre. In Delhi, petrol is sold for 83.73 rupees per litre and diesel for 75.09 rupees per litre. In Kolkata, petrol is sold for 85.53 rupees per litre and diesel for 76.94 rupees per litre. If you're serious about reaching a high quality audience, sponsor or advertise with us. Contact for further details on 8939-511-887 or write to us at info.theroosternews at gmail.com.